Hey everyone, this is Rob at Mr. Robot Shop. I wanted to show you a laptop hard drive, but not just the outside of one, the inside. Uh, I pulled an 80 gig, uh, 2.5 inch Hitachi drive apart, and uh, basically there's about seven screws that uh, keep the cover on. And uh, generally when you pull the cover off of a laptop or a hard drive, uh, when you start getting dust and other debris on the platters, the drives pretty much, they stop working pretty quickly. So, you probably have a little limited time here to actually show you what this thing's doing, but um, if you can see, there's the, uh, the platters are the round things in there, kind of spinning ball. These are 5400 RPM drives, so they're spinning quite fast. Your uh, desktop drives are 7,200 to 10,000 RPM, so much faster. And that thing that you see bouncing around there, that's actually the uh, read-write head. It's kind of like a fancy record player. And uh, I believe this one just has one platter. Some drives actually have multiple platters uh, that spin around. And then you'll see layers of heads uh, reading the uh, actual platters. So. Right now I'm running a program called uh, Hard Disk Sentinel and uh, I'm doing a random seek test. So that's about the type of test that you would need to actually see the heads kind of bounce back and forth like what you're seeing right now. So anyways, I thought it'd just be something interesting for you to see. Um, usually when hard drives stop working, it's usually not the platters that stop spinning. Um, it's usually an issue with the actual heads or the, uh, 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 you know, I'd say heads or circuit board probably. So it just stopped right now. I'm going to run the test again see if the hard drive is still functional here. Yeah, it's still gone. So, anyways, uh, usually, like I said, when, when your hard drive stops working on your uh, computer, it's normally because the... Uh, the heads just aren't reading the data anymore so that's why it's always a good idea to back up your data because obviously if you kind of look at what's going on in here uh, with the amount of motion and everything that's happening uh, even though most of it's electromechanical uh, these things do wear out so very good idea to back up your data uh, if you ever need your data recovered generally you have to ship these drives to a specialty company they generally charge you anywhere from like you know 800 to about 1500 is what I usually see when people bring hard drives in that are bad and at that point most people aren't going to spend that much uh, but you got to remember if you have a lot of pictures and music and documents you know sometimes that's not recoverable like pictures of your kids or music that you've copied throughout the year so uh, so make sure to you know buy a backup drive. You know they normally run you fifty to hundred dollars, but that sure is a lot cheaper than uh, you know uh, having to spend a, roughly a thousand just to get your data recovered once these things do fail. So I'm starting to hear the drive make a little bit more noise right now. I'm gonna go back over here and see on Hard Disk Sentinel. This actually will show us the health of the drive. It's still showing a hundred percent. I'm gonna pull the USB cable off the reader here and then pop it back in. Actually, I'm gonna pull off this other drive as well. I'm gonna plug it back in and see if we've lost any health since it's had the covers off. Nope, it's still at a hundred percent. So I actually tried this with two desktop hard drives and both of them got destroyed in about one didn't last more than 30 seconds. Another one I had going for maybe a couple minutes. I wanted to actually show you that one, but the once they fail, the, the operating system pretty much locks up and you really can't do much with it, so. But, um, let's see, extended random. So your surface test, if you do, uh, you know, like a surface test, the, the heads actually move so slow that you really won't see movement. It's almost like a record player playing uh, in the groove itself, so. But anyways, it was kind of a neat thing to show you. Don't recommend doing this to your own personal hard drive unless it's just, you know, you're bored. And you have all your data off and it's a drive that you're going to get rid of anyways because 
you know, generally once you do this, uh, your drive's pretty much going to be tossed in the trash after all this. So, and you can also see why, uh, if you were to, you know, bounce your laptop on the floor when it was turned on, uh, that will cause the heads to crash into the platter sometimes, uh, which is, we see that quite often, so, you know, make sure. That's why I recommend solid state hard drives, because there's no moving parts, so this uh, head access thing doesn't exist on solid state drives, it's just computer chips, so. Uh, solid state drives are, you know, 10, 15 times faster. Oops, there we go, we got a little problem there probably. Um, solid state drives are 10, 15 times faster than uh, these mechanicals, but again, if you jar them around a little bit, uh, you're not going to have the issues. Uh, obviously, you don't want to drop your laptop because you could break your screen and other damage can be done, but uh, the hard drives, when they're spinning and moving like this, you know, when they take a hit to the floor, it, it pretty much wipes them too, so. Alrighty, I'm starting to click. Um, these noises aren't good, so I'm going to cut it here. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.